When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. As soon as I remember who I am on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you for being with me today. I appreciate that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to talk today about, as we get into our season number two, um, I think this is the second second episode, but we're going to talk about pieces of mind. So sort of a play on the peace of mind, but pieces of mind. And as we get going, just so you know, like I say, welcome. If you're in, in here, let me know you're here. Where are you listening from? If you're watching live, great. Welcome. Uh, if you get into the, the uh, chat, um, if you can do that, if you happen to be going through Inspired Choices Network through our app, if you're watching on our TV station, uh, inspiredchoicesnetwork.tv, welcome. If you're watching on YouTube or video streaming live, welcome. And, and I've, got my, I've got my cup. I've got my special mug. Um, I got my special mug. Thank you so much to my special friend that, that provides that for me or gave that to me. And um, uh, just so you know, by the way, you've got a few seconds to get your journal. If you don't have something to write on and write with, you're going to want that today. There's a lot of information. I'm going to talk really quick, but something that's uh, more uh, near and dear to my heart, but it's certainly something that is um, absolutely important in terms of our own peace of mind. Where does that come from? Can we have control of that? So you're listening to, just so you know, you're listening to, I am a champion mindset mentor. I'm the founder and CEO at Jewel International. I am a multi-award winning international best-selling author multiple times. I am an international keynote speaker and um, I'm, a, I'm a champion mindset uh, and energy coach for a pro basketball team. I teach the seven levels of emotional intelligence for men and I give tools and strategies. I serve entrepreneurial men and pro athletes and I teach tools and strategies to be able to deal with the emotions we all feel every day but don't know what to do with as guys. And so that's where my heart is. I'm a suicide survivor. And that, that Papa gifted me that experience to be able to do my mission. And, and my mission is to change the lives of every man I meet. My mission is to change the lives of more than 10 million men by increasing their uh, emotional quotient, their EQ. And I think once we do that, if we can improve their quotient, their emotional peace, um, everything gets better. The relationships get better. They become a better father and dad and uncle and, and brother and employer and employee, uh, better friend because they, they can, there's some empathy and some sympathy that they can figure out how to plug into. They always talk about it doesn't, people don't typically care how much you know till they know how much you care. That's EQ. All right, let's get into it a little bit. I'm uh, excited to have you find us, like, uh, like us, love us, share, subscribe. It's a free subscription on Inspired Choices Network. But that, that helps us with the algorithm and it helps pay for the show. So if this resonates, uh, click, please like it, love it, share it, um, subscribe, but pump it out all over your social media. The only way we've got huge reach, hundreds of millions of reach, but, but we also want engagement and, and it's good. We want it to be better. And so we're always looking for it to be better. So please, we really, really, really appreciate if you could do that for us. All right, let's get into this pieces of mind pieces, the bits and pieces. So um, the parts of our brain, and, and when I say that, there's when we talk about pieces of brain or pieces of mind, that's two different things. Your brain is a physical fatty piece that sits in our, in, in our skull cavity. That's our brain, physical brain. So common parts of our brain, that physical piece that people sort of know and understand, frontal lobe, cerebral cortex, thalamus, uh, occipital lobe, cere uh, cerebellum, brain stem, right at the back. Um, there was a, a very famous uh, NASCAR guy that, that snapped his brain stem. That's how he died in a crash. Uh, medulla, um, temporal lobe, hypothermus. There's a little bunch of different bits and pieces of the physical brain. They all have different jobs. Memory, keeping our heart uh, beating and our lungs bringing air. Um, survival depends on our it, uh, it working properly and together. 
when we sometimes you see people in a horrific accident, they put them on life support. Why? Because their brain doesn't do what it stopped doing the bits and pieces that that happened from our subconscious. And so that and again, that's another part. But subconscious is a part of our mind, not a part of our brain. So to make that distinction, but that's not what we want to talk about today. We're not going to talk about the physical brain. It's 70% fat, 66.67% fat. But if we don't take enough fat, good fat intake, right? Fish, beans, good fat. Um, if we don't put enough in, then our brain, it causes challenges to the physical brain. Part of the reason we, that can lead to Parkinson's and uh, Alzheimer's and depression even if we don't get enough fat content, good fat into our diet. So, um, but that those are the bits and pieces of the physical part of our brain. That's the part we can see after we die. Well, obviously we can't see it now, but we know it's there. Once, once we're not here anymore, they can open up our, our skull and take out a physical piece, our brain. That is not our mind. Peace of mind has nothing to do with our brain. Nothing to do with our brain. So we, wh where does our peace of mind come from? Where did it comes from pieces of our mind? It comes from understanding our mind. You'll hear me talk a lot about um, with, with pro athletes, but it's the same thing in business, same thing everywhere. Um, skill set, gear set, and mindset. And we have pro athletes that are spending huge, and any kind of athlete, any kind of business person, we spend a lot of time with our skill set, right? We become better at sales. We become better at dribbling and we come better at whatever the skill is we're using whatever the skills are we need to have to be able to execute what our jobs are what our what our what our occupations are we get better at it right but we practice those things we spend time and energy and money and take courses and all this stuff to to, to make our skill set better so that's one our gear set are the things that we use the equipment we use so in sports for basketball it could be shoes it could be knee brace or elbow braces or clothes or the basketball the court right down to things like bags of ice after you're after you're done with your with your practice right it, 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 it's low low tech doesn't cost a lot but but people spend a lot of money on tech you think of golfers they spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on every gadget there is that can try and make them better that little bit of an edge how do i get a little bit i got a different putter a different driver i got different clutch. all this gear we spend gobs of money on gear and then the third one is mindset. Oh, that's right. We, we don't spend a lot of time there. Athletes don't spend a lot of time there, typically. It's business people in our lives, we don't spend a lot of time with our mindset, which I don't quite understand. Because what we think and what we do are the only things we can control. We can influence outside ourselves, but we can't control anything outside ourselves. What we think and what we do, but then people bitch and whine and complain because they're not getting the results. You didn't do the work. Are you doing the work? Are you spending any time with your mindset? Do you read or journal or meditate or good podcasts like this one or like anybody else that's on the network? There's some great uh, stuff, amazing, amazing, amazing information to host on our on Inspired Choices Network uh, platform. It, it, but there's lots of free content out there. There's lots of stuff you can plug into. Are you using it? Are you plugging into any of that? Intentional growth, not just organic, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Intentional growth. Are you spending any time with that? Because in a, in a um, well, in a sports world, but certainly the same thing in a business world, you can have somebody with LeBron James level talent, skill with world-class gear that has a mediocre mindset that gets schooled by somebody with mediocre skill and mediocre gear, but an incredible po a positive mindset. It happens all the time in business. It happens all the time. That's it's, it's about mindset. It's about where, what, what attention we're paying to that. We, we used to say in the, in the car business, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Whatever you expect is what you're going to get. So if you walk out to a client on the, on the, well, they're not a client, then they're just a prospect on the lot. If you think they're going to treat you just like the last people did and not buy and be nasty to you and whatever, guess what you're going to get? 
<laughs> you're going to get exactly that. And you're going, well, see, look, they're, they're morons. It's like, no, you projected that onto them. Why? Because you're not controlling your mindset. You're not spending any time increasing and intentionally growing that, that muscle. The physical brain is, 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 is there. But growing our mindset, expanding our mind has nothing. Your, your skull is only so big. If your brain expands, it causes some pressure and then you pass out and you have seizures and all this nasty stuff, right? We're not talking about your brain getting bigger. We're talking about stretching your mind. Stretching your mind. Because once it's stretched, it won't go back. It'll never go back to the original parameters ever. As you expand and expand and expand and expand, especially intentionally, are you putting in good stuff? Are you making sure? Because that's what we're going to get to it through today's show. We're going to get to it through today's show. Where is peace of mind coming from? Some of the peace of mind is coming from our ability to control our mind and control our emotion. Can we do that? Yeah, you can. Yes, you can. I say it all the time. Capital letters. Yes, you can. Yes, we can. And we will. Why? Because we can. We should. It's our responsibility to make sure that we do. By the way, I just saw myself on the picture there. Welcome to Red Friday, by the way. My red vest. R-E-D. Remember everyone deployed. I don't want to forget my my unbelievable I have a huge appreciation for them standing on the wall for us standing in, in, in between us and bad stuff i can't forget and it just occurred to me i forgot i am so sorry guys gals everybody i'm sorry i forgot but welcome to red fridays don't let other people control or take up space in your mind don't let the person or people that don't believe in you be you. You believe in you. And if you're not sure, reach out to me, the longbearded guy at gmail.com. I'll, I'll tell you I believe in you. And whether you reach out to me or not, I'm telling you I believe in you. And I'm not the only one. I'll guarantee you I'm not the only one in your life that does. But we have to believe that. We have to hold on to that because it's important. That's where part of our peace of mind is going to come from. Because we're good with the situation. And good and bad happens to everybody. So it's not about that. So let that go. Oh, why is this happening to me? That's the wrong question. That's the wrong question. Why is this? It doesn't matter. Good or bad. We're going to go through it anyway. At least get paid for it. Learn something from the good and the bad. And then let it go. Learn from it. Look for it and go, hey, where's the lesson here? What am I supposed to be learning? We're all going through it. Don't ask why. You may never find it. That's a fool's errand. You'll, you may never ever. You may. You may find out why. You may never find out why. But why really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What are you supposed to be learning? How are you stretching your mind in that situation? Is it going to help your peace of mind? We're going to talk in the next piece about, and then uh, we got to take another quick break or a quick break. Um, I guess it's another one compared to other shows, but um, parts of our mind, what's happening in the left and the right, what's happening with intellectual as opposed to primitive and all those different things. We're going to talk about that in the next segment. I need to do a quick shout out for Jose Escobar is the founder and CEO of the entrepreneur's bookshelf. And I think he's coming back from Romania tomorrow. But check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening mastery routine program that's changing people's lives. It's incredible, a really incredible program. If you're not doing something morning and evening as routine, excuse me, you need to, and you need to reach out to him. So that program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up a free strategy session with Jose Escobar today. And you can reach him at theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. That's an incredible program. I really appreciate all my founding sponsor partners. 
they, I can't do the show without them. I am looking for four new partners, uh, sponsor partners. So if this is something that resonates and I'll talk about it later, but if this is something that, that you want to help get the message out and you want to help be part of whether I don't care, gender doesn't matter. Um, Cause I know lots of, I got lots of women that, that want to help their husbands and sons and brothers and dads and whatnot uh, get plug into this information. So, uh, but we're, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere parts of our mind so we talked about physical brain in the next day we want to talk about parts of our mind you're with the long bearded guy gordon d melville on inspired choices network be right back don't forget to pause and breathe how much of our daily success relies on our mindset anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives when dealing with our daily emotions that we all face there can be positive outcomes we control Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back. You're with the Long Bearded Guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network, and today we're talking about pieces of mind. The bits and pieces of our mind, not the bits and pieces of our brain, that different bits and pieces of our mind so we want to talk in this this quick segment about the pieces of our mind the parts of our brain so there's an intellectual mind that's the logic part and there's a primitive mind that's the feelings part that's the fight or flight the one part that wants to survive and wants to thrive right so we have a left and a right side uh two hemispheres of our brain right left and right and they're pressed up against each other When I was a teenager, um, I had, uh, and I probably still do, there was a space between the two sides of my hemispheres, which uh, electrical uh, would short out. And so I would have, well, I I had seizures at one point. I don't anymore. I haven't for years and years, but uh, migraine. But some of that was the, the electrical storm between the hemispheres. But the two sides talk. So depending on whether you're left handed or right handed, that can be that can be controlled by our brain. And, and by our mind, not just our brain, but our mind. So the left side of our brain, the left side of our, our mind is the analytical thinking side. It's the numbers, language, reasoning, logic, and science and math. So people that are really strong with their math and sciences, logic side, numbers, math, that kind of thing is coming from the left side. The right side is the creative side. It's the emotional intelligence side. It's the imagination, expression, art awareness, intuition, and creativity is coming from the right side. So right-minded. So I joke as a left-handed person, left-handed people are the only people in their right mind because it's coming from the other side. So some of us, and I'm I'm definitely a right-minded human, definitely a right-minded human, um, but our conscious mind our conscious mind, what is that? So we had two kinds, subconscious, conscious. Our conscious mind 
is the is the gatekeeper to to our brain, right? It's some somebody says something, you go, that's not right, that's not true, or yeah, that's true. It's that that's that's our conscious thought when we're doing our thinking and we're we're being creative or we're we're working our math or science or whatever it is we're working on. Our conscious brain is what we're using to be able to make that work. But interestingly enough, our conscious mind only controls five percent of our day. Our conscious mind is only controlling. 5% of, of our day. What does that mean? It means 95% is controlled by our subconscious mind, where there is no gatekeeper, where there's nothing to stop the information from going straight in. So you'll be sitting at work and you're typing, you're doing your thing, you're using your conscious mind to do your work on your computer screen or whatever it is that you're doing. But your subconscious mind is hearing what's going on around you. It's listening to a radio that's off in the distance. It's listening to two people arguing over a sandwich in the lunchroom or what they're, you know, you ate my stuff from the fridge or it's hearing all of that stuff. When we go to sleep at night, if you fall asleep with the radio on or you fall asleep with the TV on, you're not conscious anymore. That means everything that you're hearing is going straight into your brain. No gatekeeper, nothing to stop it from going, hey, that's not true, or that's not right, or no, 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 I don't want that in here. There's nothing to stop it. 95% of our day is being input into our subconscious mind, which we're not even paying attention to. That's scary. It makes you go, wait, 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 wait. That means other people are influencing. And you're influencing other people with your vibration and things you say and things you do and the way you talk. You're having influence. You're having impact. Is it positive or negative? Is, it, is what you're allowing in positive or negative? Thoughts are real things. Obviously, you can't hold that in your hand. All right, here's a thought. That, that's not how it works. Now, you can write it down, and then you go, hey, here's a bunch of thoughts. But thought is a concept, but it's a real thing. And what I mean by that is it will cause biological and physiological effects in our body. I, I have to think my, my thoughts I had to think in my brain, real thing, arm, reach out to the cup, reach out, yep, 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 there you go, there you go, okay, fingers, grab the handle, grab the handle, okay, no, you got it, yeah, yeah, okay, don't drop it, don't drop it, arm, bring the cup back to my mouth, it's a huge target, come on, you can do it, you can do it, okay, oh, that was yummy, okay, mouth swallow, you know, uh, arm, take it back, okay, fingers, like, we don't think that way. But that's what's happening. Something in our brain, those thoughts are becoming tangible, real things so that we can execute in our day. But if 95% of the stuff that's happening and stuff that's going in is going into our subconscious mind, it makes you go, hey, wait, I have to protect. I need to put something there. I got to be very careful what I'm allowing in because your brain doesn't know the difference between real and not real. Your mind I, I need to make the distinction. Your mind doesn't know the difference. They've done studies with, with bodybuilders where they, they get them to, to pump weight with nothing in their hand. Close your eyes. Imagine the bar in your hand, the weight. How, what can you lift? I can lift 150 pounds. Great. At a bench. Great. So, so push it up. And, you go, uh, and they do it over a long period of time. They do it over six months or a year. And they make gains. What? Their muscles grow. What the hell is that? There was nothing in their hand it's because their brain doesn't know the difference. Your brain can't tell the difference. Your mind does not know the difference between real, imagine, real and fake. When you're in a movie that's scaring the hell out of you, nothing's happening to you. It's happening in your mind, right? It's happening in your mind. It's not, it's not real. There's nothing happening, but you're scared anyway. There's that, those feelings, it's a real thing that has repercussion in your body. 
excuse me, biological and um, psychological challenge or, or impact, positive or negative, in your mind. 70,000 thoughts a day on average. 70,000 thoughts a day go through our brain. How many of them are positive and negative? How many of them are negative? How many do you have control over? How many do you pay attention to? That's why when we say things like, oh, I'm so stupid, your brain does not know that you're, it's a figure of speech or that you're kidding. It hears, hey, I'm, I'm stupid. When we say that to, to our children, we say stuff to people around us, we say, and, and we may say it in jest, but our mind doesn't understand the difference. Be very, very careful what you say to people, what you say to yourself. We've talked about that a few weeks ago. We talked about giving ourselves grace, but not excuses. Part of that grace is what we say to ourselves. Those thoughts become real pieces of our, of our life. And they have real, tangible repercussions in our body and in our life. I was blown away. 5%. Our conscious mind is only 5% of our day. You think of all the things that we do. I'm consciously thinking right now. As I'm talking to you, I'm thinking about what I want to say. I'm thinking about, you know, get, when, we, when, we, when we need to take a break. I'm thinking about, how, you know, drinking my, my peach, um, ginseng, uh, echinacea, and uh, dandelion tea. Uh, herbal tea. I'm thinking about that. That's conscious mind. Following my my word my 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 bullet points for for my show notes. That's my conscious. I think, oh, holy crap! I'm doing lots of that. Five percent on average. Most of what we're doing. Have you ever you ever driven to work or driven someplace that you go all the time, and you get there and you go, crap! I don't remember ever getting here. I don't remember driving here. Number one, that's a little scary. And I've done it myself. But number two, what was happening? Because your conscious mind was not driving you there. Because you've been so often, your unconscious mind was driving you there. And unless something interrupts that, something out of the ordinary or something, something that catches you off guard, and you go, oh, wait, 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 right? It stops you. Completely oblivious. How many of us go through our lives that way? Completely oblivious. Are we paying attention to what's going on around us? To who we're impacting? To the legacy we're leaving in people? Because we do it every day. We're leaving that legacy every day in everybody we meet. And not just meet, meet. Everybody we come across. You, you, you roll past somebody at the grocery store. You're standing in the, in the line at the bank with, behind some, or in the middle of something. Those are people that you're interacting with. Whether you talk to them or not, you're interacting with them. Are you conscious of what's going on? Are you paying attention? Do you have a weird self-awareness of what's happening for you, but what's happening around you? That's EQ. That's emotional quotient. And if we have more of it, we have more peace of mind. It's another piece. It's another part of the equation. High EQ will result in more peace of mind because we know how to deal with stuff. We're paying attention to things. We can prioritize and put it in space, put it where it belongs. I need to take another quick break, but uh, again, shout out to Jose. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. And again, you can reach him at theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. And if you send him an email, he'll get it as soon as it gets back from, uh, from Romania. Don't forget, as we go to a quick break here, to pause and breathe. You're pausing. Close your eyes if you can, if you're listening to me on the road. And thank you for the people that I know are listening, that are traveling. 
traveling mercies for a couple of people that I know are traveling for huge distance. If they happen to be listening, thank you for tuning in. Uh, but I know there's a bunch of people that, that aren't on my studio audience that aren't on, uh, that are listening and watching in other places. So thank you to you all for being here, but, but pause and breathe, take two, two in two beats in through your nose, hold it for 10 and exhale as hard as you can for four beats that inhales the good, the good air and inhale good stuff, inhale the positive. You hold it to oxygenate your brain, not your mind, but your brain to help it work better. All your organs and whatever that hold that oxygen, it helps, it helps oxygenate you. And then exhale as hard as you can. All the crap out of you, the stale air, you push out twice as hard as you inhale. And you do it two or three times. You might be a little bit lightheaded when you first try and do that a few times, but you'll be more focused, more grounded, and you'll be more alert. So as we go to break, don't forget to pause and breathe. And when we come back, we're going to talk about... Where is it? Oh, the parts we, what, what can we control? What can't we control? What parts of our mind can we control? Can we control any of it? Is there anything we can control? We're going to talk about it when we come back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. The Connected Leaders Academy is the number one fastest growing networking community for entrepreneurs. CLA assembles high-level leaders, titans of industry, and business owners under one roof. If you're an entrepreneur looking to grow personally, professionally, scale your influence, develop skills, and expand your network exponentially, the CLA is where you need to be. Want on to more podcasts and shows? Speak on more stages. Sell more books, products, and services. Get more leads, referrals, acquire new clients, develop lifelong friendships, and more. Join the Connected Leaders Academy today. Contact Jose Escobar on Facebook or check out www.claglobalsummit.com for more information. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back here with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about pieces of mind. Pieces of mind. Kind of a play on the peace of mind deal. But we want to look at the pieces of our mind. What are the pieces of that uh, that we look at? What are the pieces that we control? What are pieces that we... What's the difference between our physical brain and our mind? Because they're not the same thing. We want to talk about our mindset. You hear me talk all the time about mindset. Why is it important? It controls everything. And the subconscious side controls 95% of our day. I know it regulates all the regular stuff, right? The breathing and blood blood pumping and all that good stuff. There's so many things that it controls. Our body temperature and and everything, right? It looks after so much our, our subconscious. But if we allow it, our subconscious can be kicking the crap out of us because we haven't programmed it right because we allow things in on 70,000 thoughts on average, 70,000 thoughts each of us have every day. How many of them are you controlling? How many are you paying attention to? What are you allowing to control you? You've heard me say a lot of times we abdicate the power to control those things. Oh, it is what it is. That's crap. That's not true. A lot of things we have control over in terms of our own self, what I think, what my emotions are, and what I do are things I can control. Nobody else can control those things. 
So what are the pieces of, I, I, I promised in the, in the ad uh, for this, this episode, we would talk about what the pieces of mindset are. What are some pieces of our, our mindset that we, that we can focus on that we, when we say, hey, we need to improve our mindset. What does that mean? What are we looking at? What are we talking about? Because we can say, hey, improve our mindset and move on. People are like, oh, that's great. Well, what is the hell does that mean? I have no idea what that means. So by the way, I hope you're writing this stuff down because if you don't write it down, you're not going to remember. No offense. There, most people cannot retain more than 10% of what they hear at any given moment, even if they take good notes. So take good notes, but then go back and read, read it. A lot of times I'll do it at the end of my day. Anything I talk to, anybody I talk to through the day and put in a journal, I reread at the end of the day. I try and do it every day, reread before I go to sleep. Why? Because it's it'll help solidify it in my mind. It'll help me remember it. it it's reviewed. Don't just write it down and then never look at it again. That, that, that doesn't help. So what are the pieces of mindset? And I've got what? Six or seven of them here, seven of them here. Self-trust is a piece of our mindset. That's something we can control. Do you trust yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Do you know you can get it done? Do you trust you? You look at a bird, a great big massive bird sitting on this little branch. And it goes through your head, hey, how, why is, does that bird trust that branch? What makes him think it's going to hold him? He doesn't trust the branch. He's not believing in the, he's self-trusting. That bird knows if the branch breaks, I, I can fly away. I have wings, I can fly away. Not trusting the branch, trusting self. Self-trust, do you spend any time focused there? Goal setting, and there's lots of it. I've been a goal setter person for decades, but there's other pieces of that. And if you don't know what the other pieces of the goal setting piece, the goal setting, the actual goals are the third part, not the first part. And there's some really, really amazing stuff about goal setting. Starts with vision for your life and then goes to definite major purpose or chief aim. And then it goes to goals. And do you write the goals? Do you write your definite major purpose in a, you need to write it in a positive present tense and that you're choosing to have those things. You're choosing to be those things in the moment. You're choosing present tense. Goal setting, do you do it? I want to go on a trip to LA. Do I just get in a plane and fly? Do the pilot just fly? No, they have to set a plan. Oddly enough, they're off, off track 98% of the time. But that means their autopilot is bringing them back. What's an airplane's autopilot in our, in our world, in a human world? What's autopilot? Oh, subconscious mind that we're not paying any attention to and we're not programming properly. It's dictating 95, well, in humans, 95% of our day. We need to pay attention to it. We need to have goals. If you don't understand, reach out to me, thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. I'll help you. The next piece of mindset, uh, pieces of mind, part of our mindset is our patience, our ability to control. Stimulus, pause. That's where the power is. Pause, respond. That's our patience, our ability to hold on to it, our ability not to overreact. We want to respond, not react. Patience. It's a skill we can control. Nobody else can control our patience for us. And whatever you do, do not pray for more patience. <laughs> Don't pray for that because you're going to get in situations that are going to give you patience. And uh, yeah, you, you, you won't want that. We need to figure out patience on our own. The, the fourth one is courage. What's courage? Courage is being afraid and doing it anyway. Courage is not listening to the fear stop us, not allowing the fear to stop us, choosing to be afraid and do it anyway. Brave. And, and it, that doesn't, we'd look at our first responders and go, oh, they're so brave, right? They'll, 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 they'll step into the fray for us, our first, our uh, military. They'll step, stand on the wall. They'll step in front of uh, uh, the bad stuff for us. That's brave. But courage can be getting out of bed in the morning. I joke that, you know what? The uh, self-care, I, I have at least one, sometimes a couple of ma a naps in a day. Do you know how brave that is? To wake up three times on the same day. <laughs> 
that, that takes courage to wake up and get out of bed three times on the same day. But sometimes that's all that's the sometimes it's courage just to put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes it's courage just to say, you know what, today has been the day it's been. Uh, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to make a better effort tomorrow. I'm going to try harder tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to refocus today was maybe not that good, but tomorrow I'm going to refocus. And I've got, I'm, I'm going to pray that Papa lets me wake up. Gives me that leg up courage. Do you have courage? You can control that. You can do that. Are you focused is the next one part of our mindset. Are we focused? Where you just let your, your brain ramble all over the place. We get so much going on today with all the advertisements and all this shiny, chasing all the shiny, the shiny stuff and, and all these advertisements, all this stuff is everywhere, all the social media, all this um, internet, all this stuff, all, we're, we're, we're sucked sideways all over the place trying to, we're so much going on. There's so much stimulus. How do we dial it all back and go, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I need to focus right here, right now. How do we be present? It's a gift right here right now can you give yourself that gift to be present it takes focus it takes training to do that it takes conscious mind not unconscious mind conscious mind to focus and dial in and go no 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 this is what's important right now do you know how much more we could get done if we could focus laser focus laser focus with our goals Laser focus, trying to understand our, our self-trust and our, our, our patience and our courage. Are we focused on any of that stuff? It's one of the only two things we can control, what we think and what we do. But do we spend any time? We can't complain about not getting the results when we didn't do the work. People lament all the time, oh, I'm not getting the result. Did you do the work? Well, no. Well, then what the hell are you bitching and whining for? Stop giving yourself the excuse get off your butt and go if you want more you got to do more if you want stuff that most people don't have you got to do stuff most people won't do we have to be focused laser focused doesn't mean we don't sit and watch netflix and eat popcorn and, and go for a walk and that's self-care we need to do that that's all bonding social stuff we need to do with our family with our friends and with our significant others and, and even by ourselves sometimes we need to do that. Self-care is, is, is big. Take the breaks. But when you're not breaking, you need to focus hard. Posit positivity. Positivity. Being positive. Can we focus on that? Can we pay attention and, and nurture that positivity in our brain? Can we think in terms of abundance instead of lack? Can we focus on abundance and positivity instead of lack and negativity? Focus on the positive. You don't want to expect, but anticipate. Pray for, look for the positive instead of looking for the negative. Make it a glass half full. Make it a glass full, 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 not half empty. The last part I want to talk about in the pieces is learning. Are you learning is part of our mindset. That's a piece of our mindset. It's a piece of our mind, our learning. Are you intentionally learning? Are you intentionally growing? Are you just organically flopping along going, hey, I'm going to get better or it's going to, I'm going to learn or whatever, whatever it's going to happen, however it's going to happen. That, that's not, we need to be able to learn to learn. Learn to learn. Focus on learning. Positive forward movement through learning which parts of those things can we control so of those things self-trust goal setting patience courage focus positive and learning what parts of those can we control um they carry the one yeah all of them all of them we control those things the next question is which part, pieces of those do we control where do we make the effort to do that? Are we making an effort to do that? Do we spend any time working on that? When was the last time you read a book? They say more than 90% of college grads never pick up a book again their whole life. We wonder why the world's messed up. 
Less than 3% of the population does any kind of personal development, and we wonder why the world's messed up. We need to do something with it. We need to execute. We need to pay attention, or we just have to stop bitching and whining and moaning and complaining because our life isn't what we want it to be. Again, I've said it before. If you're happy being mediocre or holding the status quo, and that's where you are, and that's where you're happy, then you know, kudos to you, props for you. But the fact that you're still listening to me probably means you're not willing and wanting to be mediocre or holding the status quo. You want more. You want to move ahead. You want incremental growth, intentional growth. You got to do something different. I'm here to rattle your chain. Shake your cage. Come on, let's go. You want to do it? Let's go. Don't complain about the result when you're not doing the work. And to that end, if you want to do the work, really, truly want to do the work, reach out to me. I've got lots of stuff going on. There's a box inside out, uh, another cohort starting. There's, I can do one-on-one. -on -one. You can hire me for so many different things. There's some exciting stuff coming. I'm all excited to share. Probably in the next two or three weeks, I'll be able to share. There's some really exciting stuff happening. But if you, if, if you need to jump to the next level, reach you got to do something different. Whether you're talking to me, you're talking to somebody else, you're pouring into podcasts, you're listening to other stuff, you're reading, you're journaling, you're doing these things. But if you want help, and we all need that, by the way, I don't trust a coach that doesn't have a coach. I have four coaches, four mentors that look after me that I'm, I'm in contact with all the time. It cost me a small fortune, but I need to have that there. Why? Because I've got blind spots too. I'm not perfect. I'm still growing every day, just like you. We're on a journey. It's an adventure together. But if this resonates with you, or you know someone that needs to hear this, share this with them. Share it with them. Plug in. Reach out to me. The, uh, the longbearded guy at gmail.com. Reach out to me. Gord, I need some more information. Can you tell me what programs or what offerings you've got? How do I plug into your information? I've got somebody that needs to plug into this. Can I connect you to them? If you want to help get the, the message out and you're like, you know what, um, I, I, can, I, can I send you some money? Can I support you that way to get it out? Because there's, there's lots of bills. I've got four, four spots open. I mean, I'll take more than four, but that, I've got four spots open. Reach out to me. I'm asking you to help me. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. I'm asking you to help me get the message out. Help me. Get the message out. Sorry, Jerry Maguire. Help me help you. <laughs> help me help the mass. Help me help other men. If that's you, help me help you. I, I, please help me. Reach out. The longbearded guy at gmail.com. I got to take another quick break. As we go to break here, don't forget to pause and breathe. When we come back, unbelievably, we're, we, we need to wrap and do the quick call to action and talk about next week. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. we got a really, really cool uh, call to action this week. Um, very exciting for me. So uh, don't go anywhere. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. Don't forget to pause and breathe. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville, the chief catalyst strategist guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows, along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. 
Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Last segment. So we're talking about you're with by the way, you're with the long bearded guy. That's me, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you for being here. Love that you're here. Please share this. Um, share it, help us get the like it, love it, share it, subscribe. That helps with our algorithms, like I said, but it also helps us pay for the shows and, and it gets the message out. It gets everything out. So we've talked a physical, what's the difference between physical brain and, and our mind. We've talked about the pieces of our mindset. We've talked about, um, what we can control, what we can't control. We understand, hey, our mindset is something we have. We, we control that. And if we've got a plan to get it better and to make it better, no one's got a plan to stop us. But then we have to execute that plan. We have to do something with it. Do something with it. So the call to action today is to be uh, under covenant. Commit to be under covenant with yourself. We talked about that before. If you're not sure what that's about, go back and watch the episodes we're talking about under covenant. Under covenant, commit to yourself that you're going to hold yourself accountable. It's a, it's a pinky swear with yourself that you're going to work on the pieces you can control to give yourself peace of mind. And you can control all of those things we just talked about. Don't make excuses. Don't let yourself off the hook. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. If you can't be committed to yourself or you need accountability, find an accountability partner. I do stuff with lots of people where they, they, they pay me to hold them accountable. Happens all the time. Lots of people, uh, elite athletes, lots of people do because they understand, hey, you know what? Sometimes I need to hold my, somebody else to hold my feet to the fire. But please be under covenant with yourself Look at the pieces, work on the pieces you can control. What you think, what you, what you do, your emotional control, mindset. Think about your mindset. Work on controlling your mindset. Make a commitment to yourself that you're going to look after that. Next week, Friday, August 18. This year is going by so quick. Unbelievable. We're going to talk, same, same place, same happy beard, same... Uh, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to talk next week about finding your wolf pack to end loneliness. Finding your wolf pack to end loneliness. Sometimes lone wolf, right? We like to be the lone wolf sometimes. That's really difficult. Really, really difficult. Hey, Lizzie, welcome. Um, finding, finding your wolf pack to lead to Will, uh, to end your loneliness, to end feeling like you're alone, to make sure you can plug in. There's some really important, potent things. If you've got guys in your life, make sure they're on next Friday because there's it's, it's wrapped all around that. Finding the right pack. What does that mean even? Why would you do it? Is it important? Does it have any value? Some of us like to be the lone wolf. They say, if you want to go fast, go by, by yourself. But if you want to go far, you need to pack because we all have bits and pieces that, that we look after. So next week, find your wolf pack to end loneliness. I appreciate you being here today. I really do. Um, I can't do this. Well, people say, oh, I can't do this without you. Uh, no, I probably can, but it's not much fun when there's nobody listening. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you spending some of your limited resources with me today. Be courageous, be unapologetically, unabashedly you and whatever that looks like. Be you, make it another great week. I love you, massive hugs. Live out you abundantly and with intention and we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. If you haven't heard it yet today, I love you. Big, big hug. Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. 
Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.